Hey guys, welcome. We <laughs> have had quite an interesting morning. We, we're going to do a video about inner child um, work and connection to our children. And then our children all came on screen and then they did a little share, which was beautiful. Um, but we didn't feel it was, it didn't work out to record it and it was a bit premature, but we'll do a children's series at some point. Um, but hopefully they all enjoyed being part of that and got something from it. And so change of plan. We will come back to our inner child stuff at some point and share about that. But today we're just gonna record ourselves connecting with one oil and doing the power of the pause breath, which is a technique that you can use with your oil as a tool for calming, grounding, centering, coming back to you, coming back to your heart, um, eliminating all that noise from the world, reducing stress. Yeah, just calming down your nervous system and balancing everything out. So if that's you, if you have been a bit stressed or full of thoughts or anxious feelings, then Join us with this. And if you don't have an essential oil, that's fine. Because you can still get a lot from breathing. Breathing is our life force energy. We need it in order to stay alive, in order to um, manifest as well. If you look at it from a spiritual point of view, it's um, the more breath work you can bring into your life, um, you, the more changes you'll see and feel. So guys, we've got Fontana, Louise, Vicky, morning to you all. Which oil are you going to use today for your power of the pause breath? Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang. <laughs> Why have you chosen Ylang Ylang, do you think? Because uh, I am being called towards all things that bring me a feeling of satisfaction. And Yang Yang does it all so well. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. It's quite an aphrodisiac, isn't it? As yeah. well. Which you've noticed. Right. <laughs> Lovely. What about you, Lou? What, what have you gone for? It's interesting because I straight away went for air because I use air a lot. But actually, I've been so drawn, interestingly enough, to Yang Yang a lot recently. And I'm feeling to really use this now as well because it will be different. I've only just received it. And um, I'm going deep into my inner child. And I, yeah, to find that joy. But also, I'm using, um, I am really going as deep as I can go right now. So I feel. I feel like it's going to be really powerful. I'm so drawn to it. I love it. It smells amazing. And I love that, yeah, what you say, Fontana, that feeling of satisfaction. That, it's just so beautiful. So I'm intrigued right now. I, I'm just going by my guidance. That was my normal one I would go for, but this is my guidance. Trust it. I'm going to, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Mm, oh. oh, we've lost Fontana. The signal. Hopefully she'll be back just before we start. Thanks, Lee. Vicky. Hey, right. Good morning. So I have gone. <sighs> I've gone for two oils. Petagrain, interestingly, which is the oil of ancestry. Um, and as you ladies know, um, I want to reconnect to a part of me that has been coming up recently um, and to also work with black pepper um because also that's the oil of unmasking so i really want to connect to a part of me that is calling reaching out to be heard and to be listened to so i would really love to take this opportunity to connect with her so i'm yeah powerful oils <sighs> yeah that's really exciting it's time. Yeah. I've just got it's time. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can see him now. Hmm. She's been waiting for you. So um I've gone for vetiver, got it all over my hands, can you see? <laughs> 
um, reconnecting with vetiver. This was one that I started with a couple of years ago, and I, whenever I, I introduce you guys to DoTerra, I think we both loved vetiver as well. Do you remember? Mm. Uh, <laughs> and it came up um, yesterday on a call I did with someone who really resonated with what I was talking about in a class presentation on on YouTube. And he said, yes, I feel really scattered sometimes and heady. And so the reason why I chose Vetiver today is because like Louise and Fontana, who, who are about to really journey into her inner child, and Vicky, I suppose, in certain, certain ways as well, I feel like I've been accessing that for a couple of weeks. And, it's, and my inner child being frustrated and not sort of like constricted and not happy is reflecting with my child with Toby and Fontana it was um, shame she's not here um, but astrology was saying that our inner child um, is reflected out by the behavior of our child which I thought was really interesting and I've taken that on board and what I realized was that I just wasn't having enough time for me and time for me to be creative the little girl in me just wants to be free dancing and singing all the time so when I'm doing that, I feel really good, positive, and manifest better things, and balanced in my mind. But I almost feel like I've had so, I've really allowed that so much recently, and not just the dancing and singing, but ideas, creative ideas, and finding out that one of my strengths is ideation. My main strength is, is, is I get these ideas drop in, and sometimes you can call them in a the spiritual term, downloads or psychic messages. It's also that. Um, and it's, it's like, it's been flooding in so much that it can actually make me feel dizzy and a little bit out of balance. And if that goes to the extreme, you're bordering on psychosis. And the oil that I can use when I start to have those ideas or thoughts that turn into this type of energy is vetiver because the vetiver helps you to ground into the body and to come out of your head. And so also it's grounding ideas, creative ideas that drop in, it's grounding that and, and then filtering, well, which ones are for now? So I've, I've, I've already got an idea that I've written down from before we, you know, before this started recording. So rather than allowing it to sit there as a bit of information, which is basically energy, I've written it down, it's out of my head, it's on paper, I can put it somewhere on ideas board, and trust that when it's the right time, that may or may not manifest for me or for sometimes someone else. So vetiver is um, fantastic for filtering in as well as grounding. So that's my one. So I would like you trying to like get access to the child. I just need to calm mine down a bit. Because <laughs> we're ruling the show and I never get stuff done practically. So it's all about balance, isn't it? And I've got balance on my soles and my feet as well right now. So, oh, Fontana's not here trust that she will come or whatever she's doing she's meant to do but this is for anyone who just needs a break if you have an essential oil go and grab one that you feel cool to if you don't have an essential oil but you would like one and you're really serious about you know what we're talking about and you're really keen to try this for yourself reach out to the person you know on this video we will send you a little sample um personalized to what your energy will tune into your energy we may ask you questions like what what are you going through you can open up to us if you feel to feel safe to share and then we'll send you in the post a sample of oil maybe oils if you're lucky um to help you to help you with what you're going through now and use that and you can re-watch this um power of the pause breath too so let's start we're going to take some really deep breaths to begin with with your oil and as you do that, just start to feel your body in the seat or whether you're lying down, wherever you are, start to feel that connection with your body to the physical world, to the ground. And just start to take deep inhalations, feeling that oil, that scent, that aroma come into the lungs now and breathe out. And deep breath in, take it further down to the stomach, breathe in. and breathe out. And again, deeper breath down to your room space. Or if you're masculine, down to your um, gentle areas and down to your base chakra. 
Keep breathing down, down your legs now. Imagine that energy flowing down to the earth, connecting to the ground, Mother Earth. And so this gives you strength. Imagine those roots shooting down into the earth on each deep breath and that breath starts to slow as it gets deeper. And visualize roots journeying down into the earth, deep into Mother Earth's core. And you can either greet Mother Earth, thank Mother Earth, ask for connection, ask for any energy to be, any grounded energy to come up through the roots into your body, do whatever you feel to. It's always nice to have gratitude that connection knowing that we are all one we're all connected and then when you bring that awareness up to your roots to your body deepen your breath still and come all the way up towards your heart space come back to you And we're going to go into a rhythm now. Um, we're going to do five deep breaths in and five deep breaths out. But we're going to pause at the top of the breath and pause at the bottom of the breath. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And let all of that oxygen exit your lungs now. Here we go, deep breath in for one, two, three, four, five, and hold. Two, three, four, five, deep breath out. Two, three, four, five, and hold. Two, three, four, five, deep breath in. Two, three, four, five and pause two three four five release two three four five and pause two three four five deep breath in two three four five hold at the top two three four five Release, two, three, four, five, and pause. Two, three, four, five, deep breath in. Two, three, four, five, pause. Two, three, four, five, exhale. Two, three, four, five and pause two three four five deep deep breath two three four five and pause at the top two three four five release two three four five and pause two three four Five. Keep your eyes closed, your body relaxed. Keep that life force energy journeying in and out. And just enjoy this moment of stillness. You might start to feel your energy or vibration, sensations, and just allow you to be aware of those feelings and then to let them go. And if thoughts pop in about what you've got to do today or what you're doing or any thoughts at all, any worries, 
bring your awareness back to your heart instead. And that oil that you've inhaled, that will be in every cell of your body within 20 minutes of, of application. And so whatever you've chosen, whatever oil you've been drawn to will have an emotional benefit. And so it's really worth looking into what does that oil represent? What does that oil stand for? What does that oil help me with? And what does it mean? And you can either look in the emotions and essential oil book, or you can do what we're going to do now. You're going to connect directly to it. And don't worry if this sounds strange. <laughs> don't worry if you struggle. Everything takes time to evolve through practice, like anything, like meditation. And so those of you that are connecting with an oil right now, I'd like you to strengthen that bond, link more closely with it, just by intending to do so and If you can visualize that oil, the aroma is there, but what color is that oil? What color does that oil represent to you? And then what does that color mean to you? You might just get a word or a vision or a picture flashing. And what is this oil here to do for you today? And what message does the oil have for you today? Okay, and what action does this oil suggest you take today? <laughs> I don't know why I'm giggling. And lastly, Another lovely thing to ask is, is there anything else you want to show me about myself, about my soul, my soul's mission? Is there anything in the shadows that I'm not seeing that you could help shine a light on? Beautiful. And one of the most important things is to have gratitude for this oil. And just imagine how it got its way to you, <laughs> this little bottle, where it started, and the journey it took to reach your home, to reach your body. Wow. And when you're ready, guys, I encourage you to put your hands on your heart. <laughs> Any of that oil can go be rubbed into your heart. And just take three deep breaths. And by the third one, you're back in your body, back in the room. Just keep your eyes closed if you can. And just nice, gentle, deep breaths. If you want to, you can move the shoulders up. <sighs> and roll them down on the out breath. <sighs> and deep breath in. And breathe out. And last one, coming really back into your body now. Feel your feet on the ground and breathe out. And open your eyes at the end. When you're ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I feel so much better. I feel so much better now with doing that. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank that you. really was beautiful. Thank oh. you. My inner child was there the whole time, and it's yeah. really, <laughs> really interesting. Did you? Like, <laughs> you really no, I think it might have been you, Lee. I think. <laughs> <I'm taking. laughs> I was like that whole meditation was so different to what I normally am because I'm normally sat still and really embracing what's going on internally but this little people suddenly <laughs> and do you know what the beauty of this and I, I feel like I've practiced this a lot so I get this will be hard for others but I being in the moment, so regardless of what happens, regardless, like not attaching to the fact that it was meant to be the way I would normally do it or meant to be oh. the way. So, and embracing that childhood, that child in me, that was like, everything's just happening right now. And I was, list, I was my senses were getting stronger. I heard the birds. I, I saw this, like the visuals I saw was sing shots. And normally I see a lot of visual, visuals. And I want to understand what this thing shot is um, interesting. Oh no, it was more like the energy, instead of slowly bringing it up, it was like, I'm going to get a sling shot and go boom, up. It was probably my child, just like, it was like going up through me and it went past my heart and then back down again. It was like, I'm running up and then I'm going to come back down. It was just really childlike. And then Keenan came and I was opening my eyes and moving and it wasn't me still, but it was like, no, 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 this is what's meant to happen. And just embrace this stillness right now. Even though I'm moving, it's not about necessarily always staying still. You can still be in the moment and meditate or a meditative practice whilst moving and just embracing what's coming up right now rather than there, 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 there. And then when you said, what other message have you got? Um, there was a few, but I heard this, I would not normally hear this, but I heard this motorbike just go vroom, so fast. And I don't know what message that was, but that's what I, that my senses were outside rather than inside. So that was really lovely. And it just made me giggle and laugh and want to move. Oh I want to go dance now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, my God, my God. It's right about being in the moment and just like, um, you can move and dance and still be very, internal meditative state in the trance fight state do you know what i got for you i hope my eyes are on point and you've gone <laughs> and, I thought, but, and i thought well there's so much there that, that you that you don't need to to, to that, that the inner child will need to go faster and then the motorbike as well zoom like there's this balance of you're very calm but let's go like there's something there's, it's, it's like telling you to go and still be in the moment whilst I'm going like yeah yeah because that's... don't be afraid to go <laughs> and, and, and also it was that during, it's, it, it's great because during the day it's also that you you can connect quicker without needing to get yourself in that state so people that may be watching this that haven't done any meditation at all and they're intrigued by this then it you know like um they might struggle with the, the thoughts to switch off and to concentrate. That's why I said, come back to your heart now, just to get you here rather than here. And I think as we, as we all practice that more and more, we can quickly pick up an oil and go directly straight there. We, it doesn't take as long. Mm -hmm. And so you'll find that during the day, you'll get this very, you'll be able to quickly go, oh, how do I feel right now? I don't know if you guys do that already, but it, you could be busy doing couple of things and then you're like whoa I don't feel great straight in there and you can be doing cooking and going straight in there do you know what I mean so the self-awareness yeah. is, is is growing and this is what I where I think you're sort of maybe up leveling yeah recognizing the moment and all that what I've got from this actually is really truly recognizing every sense as opposed to necessarily just the um I don't, yeah, like the, the listening and touching and feeling and touching and feeling the same thing and tasting, like all of those senses in the moment rather than, um, yeah, just focusing on the stillness, which is perfect because that is what's helped me practice this meditative practice. But I use, I actually, because I have this little people with me nine times up, like most of the time, I use his energy and I tap into his energy. I tap into his fastness 
and his noises that he makes to bring me down further. And if he's coming to me and asking for attention, then I come to him and I open, it, I open my eyes. But yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? How the more you practice um, being in the moment and still, whatever that means for you, you can start to um, bring that awareness in every aspect of your life every aspect is beautiful and thank you Yelang Yelang because really? you've just reminded me of yeah what I already knew but like it just is another up level another boom as you say that's a word for right now have a fun day playing today yeah, we're going to be children today, aren't we? I'm going to be a child. <laughs> 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 don't go to bed at 4am. <laughs> Are you knackered still? Are you ready for more sleep, Vicky? Do you know what? Interestingly, it's not... I think I'm releasing. Right? Yeah. Let it go. You can... That's a form. So, yeah. Like, I think I think this is right. You, you correct me if I'm wrong. So things like Joining is a really in. powful way of marketing and driving. They're all different. I think I'm. I think I'm releasing. Um, it's also your throat mm -hmm. chakra. Yeah. Working through. Like. So I had a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um, yeah, it's really like. It was really beautiful, re like going back to the part of me that we were talking about, you know, earlier. Um, so reconnecting to a part of me that was reaching out. Um, and at the time, I didn't fully have the awareness, but going back instantly, you know, you were talking about these oils can instantaneously take you like straight back. Um, and it was so beautiful. And the scene kind of played out for me um, in that I, I was really like I was there for the part of me that I wasn't there for. So, you know, I, I was able to um, really connect with her and, and support her. And without going through the backstory, but I, I took the, the cage off her head. And she, she literally fell to her knees and I caught her and I swooped her up um, and she was so dirty and I took her home and I laid her in a bath and as a mother would, I cleaned her and then I put her in bed and I just stroked her head and I sang to her um, and it was just so beautiful and I could feel pins and needles in my arms and I just surrendered. Um, to whatever was 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 needed to be released in that moment, um, but what I got was you are safe now, you are safe now. Um, and then I felt I, I I went straight to geranium when I came back, um, and I just popped a bit on my heart. And geranium's the oil for love and trust, right? Um, so yeah, I think I'll still, I, I'll, I'll be integrating for the rest of the day again. But I feel for me today is a day of just rest. I think, you know, the last, well, the last week or the last few days, particularly have been so, so intense and I've been riding this roller coaster. But um, yeah, massive for me. So thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Today has just been massive. So many awarenesses. Um, and it's amazing that these oils are just such a, a wonderful, wonderful tool to help us access, for me, parts of me that I didn't even know that needed to be acknowledged or held or... Um, and I truly believe that I wouldn't be able to have, I wouldn't be able to do this without these oils. They're so powerful. Their, their vibration, their energy, their frequency, um, you know, they're so, so powerful. So, so powerful. So thank you. Thank you for that. 
thank you for holding space and thank you for yeah listening and supporting and guiding my pleasure mm. there's something i wanted to say um vicky picked up on uh, with me ideation strength mm. or connection strength and you know what we were talking about earlier with jasmine and i said to her the feeling of safety you have with your mum at home how lovely i know how lovely if you could create a blend with your mum today that, that that is the same frequency of that safety you've at home when you're at college gosh yes the this, connection the safety the same thing is what you is uh, connected. oh my gosh wow this is what i mean wow you truly have a gift charlotte truly of like pulling all the pieces together you know um you're right it is it's all interlinked it's all intertwined so jasmine and i are reflecting each other right mm. with the judgment look at look at judgment of others mm. is in a way was there a judgment of this girl from you the fear judgment the judgment came from fear you think oh, i'll just send it to the light she won't go because she wants to be heard she wanted to be acknowledged yeah. yeah and i think for for me like i misunderstood you know i misunderstood um but actually all she needed was to be acknowledged and to feel safe and to someone to have someone there to, to have her back um but it's like so for you to to feel safe within you for you to acknowledge you same with jasmine when she's not at home with you she's on her own right in for her to acknowledge how she feels and then have a tool mm. at her fingertips in her in her bag that she can apply as she's feeling those things to to, to, to bring less judge because she's basically she's fear of judgment but she's she's judging herself in that moment wow oh yeah she is and not feeling safe mm. So I think maybe the exercise of her today, of the blends, like it's going to be equally mm. as, as um, powerful for you. Do you think, can I ask a question? Do you think when we do that together, that individually, because I feel like we both need this blend, right? With what has happened today. Do you think we blend together and we create one blend um, that we, sh we share? She have one and I have one. or we do we create the blend but completely tune in to what resonates for us what that feels what that means and feels like and smells like to us mm -hmm. keep, your hands, your keep your hands on your heart close your eyes mm. and ask yourself you know the answer mm. okay so Thank you for the reminder. Thank you, because yes, you're right. We're right. We all have the power. We all know it's already within us. So what I got was um, they will be separate, but there'll be one that links us together. They'll, you know, so there will be a link there. So when you got this or this, because it's by. Mm. I did. I did feel that. I felt like there wasn't one that was shouting out, and that's why. Yeah. Felt free, but it's not always what we think it is. Sometimes it's outside the box. And trust yeah. the moment. Trust the yeah. moment when you're in that moment with her. Just trust mm -hmm. what comes up in the moment, rather than planning. planning. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. it. Yeah. It may. Or it may not. Yeah. And 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 as we know, right? And for people that are watching, when we work on ourselves. So when we're working on our inner child or, you know, you, you know, aspects of ourselves, it has a ripple effect and it affects our children, right? So the fact that we're doing this work together is even more empowering, you know, um, because we're teaching our children. I mean, I'm only learning these skills now, you know, Jasmine's 15, you know, can you imagine? Wow. Like, I'm so grateful for these oils, truly. They're such a blessing. And we're just mm. empowering our children, right? To really connect to our hearts. 
mm. um, and really connect with the feelings and the emotions. And I'm so proud that she's able to freely express that because, and this is what I say to her, you know, okay, so you have a learning difficulty, right? But there's more than one way to measure success, you know, because I think being in the school system has kind of, you know, she has a perception of, of how success is measured. Um, so for me, it's, it's making her understand or, or, you know, tuning into her heart, you know, and, and the qualities that she has. I mean, oh my goodness, you know, it's really important that we teach our children and we have the awareness of us, you know, for, for ourselves, but mm -hmm. it's, it's about perception, you know, for it's not about grading. It's not about being, you know, successful or the top in maths or English or, you know, it, it, it's really so much more. Success is so much more than what her perception is. Um, so really having this time today, it's going to be beautiful. I'm really grateful for that. So you're going to break down those barriers, these limitations of, mm. uh, and I feel for you as well that, um, well, it, this is for everyone. Like when we, as you said, we, it ripples out, but when we heal this together, you're hit. You're healing it for your ancestors and beyond oh, yeah. and for it so that that ripple yeah. effect is really your, that's, that's your, right? so these oils are powerful, but you're powerful because what you're about to create or what you are doing already, it's not just that it's a, it's all a mirror, isn't it? It's a mirror. What you see in the oils is what is in you, lovely. Oh, it's, it's all the same. And, yeah. and, and vice versa, right? <laughs> like with each other. You know, we're creating this beautiful container. Um, mm. And I'm so grateful for you, both of you, for, for all of us, you know, for, for these yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, the community is beautiful. I get very inspired by these chats. Very yeah, we do. It's fun. Well, sometimes we're gonna... sometimes I forget we're recording. Yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> forget as well but we will stop now so i hope that, okay. that everyone enjoyed that chat and a little meditation with the oils again if you would like any then um or if you want to talk about anything that we that came up today or you're struggling just reach out to one of us because we have struggled we have overcome challenges we have each other to talk to not everyone has that kind of support so you know don't suffer don't be in um don't suffer in silence, like just, it's worth a message. You know, you don't need to buy oils <laughs> unless you feel to, you, you literally can just reach out and uh, we're here, we're here for people. Okay, so I just want to say that. So see you next week. Woohoo! Lots of love. <laughs>